Hello everyone. In today's session of CCNA series, I'll discuss about virtualization fundamentals. Before we deep dive into virtualization world, let us try to understand what virtual means. Virtual in computing term means something not physically existing as such, but made by software to, do, to appear to do so. Let's take an example. Like we all know due to pandemic nowadays, everybody has a virtual meeting rather than having a physical meeting at office. So virtualization is nothing but a creation of virtual rather than actual version of something, such as an operating system, a server, a storage device, or network resources. The process of transforming this physical IT infrastructure and turning them into software alternative is known as virtualization. Why do we need virtualization? Traditionally, when you think of one server, that one server runs one operating system. Inside, the hardware includes a CPU, some RAM, some storage, and some NICs. And all those hardware is utilized by a single operating system, and then run one or more applications on top of it. Let's say you have three physical servers dedicated for different applications. One is a FTP server, another one is a web server, and the mail server. Each server is being used at about 20 to 40 percent capacity, not running up to their full potential. Traditionally, it was often more easier and more reliable to run individual tasks on individual server, that is one server, one operating system, and one task. It wasn't easy to give one server multiple brains, but with virtualization, uh, you can split the FTP server into two unique ones that can handle independent tasks so the mail servers can be migrated. It's the same hardware, you're just using more of it more efficiently. Increasing its use from 25 to 60% and by migrating the remaining server, it will increase up to around uh, 90%. So once you do that, the new now free servers could be reutilized for new tasks or retired altogether to reduce cooling and maintenance cost. All this can be achieved by using virtualization. So how does this virtualization work? Virtualization describes a technology in which an application, a guest OS or data storage is separated from the underlying software or hardware. A thin software layer known as hypervisor reproduces the functions and actions of the underlying hardware for the abstracted hardware or software, creating multiple virtual machines on a single physical system. In its simplest terms possible, a virtual machine or a VM is a virtual representation or emulation of a physical computer. They are often referred to as a guest or while the physical machine they run on it is referred to as the host. A virtual machine or VM is an emulated computer system created using the software. Each VM runs its own operating system and behaves like an independent computer even though it is running on just a portion of the actual underlying computer hardware. Virtual machines provide similar functionality to physical machines but they do not run directly on the hardware instead they are managed and controlled by hypervisor. These virtual machines or VMs offer its customer greater isolation, flexibility, and control. There are different types of virtualization. Some of the common are server virtualization, desktop virtualization, operating system virtualization, and network function virtualization or NFV. Next, let's look at some of the benefits of virtualization. Virtualization is cost effective. Virtualization reduces the number of servers you have to run, which means saving on hardware costs and also on the total amount of energy needed to run hardware and provide cooling. It is also environment friendly. Virtualization is a green technology through and through. Energy savings brought on by widespread adoption of virtualization technologies would negate the need to build so many power plants and would thus, this, thus conserve our Earth's energy resources. 
It also offers faster provisioning. Buying, installing and configuring hardware for each application is time consuming. Provided that the hardware is already in place, provisioning virtual machines to run all your application is significantly faster. You can even automate it using management software and build it into existing workflows. It also offers resource efficiency. Virtualization enables higher utilization rates of hardware because uh, each server supports enough virtual machines to increase its utilization from typical 15% to as much as 80%. It also reduces downtime and enhances resiliency. When a disaster affects a physical server, someone is responsible for replacing or fixing it. This could take hours or even days with a virtualized environment. It's easy to provision and deploy, allowing you to replicate or clone the virtual machine that's been affected. The recovery process would take mere minutes as opposed to the hours it would take to provision and set up new physical servers, significantly enhancing the resiliency of the environment. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and share your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you.